Today we're going to be doing a run through of Esri's workforce application. We're going to go ahead and open up our app and sign in using our ArcGIS online account. Once we've logged in, we have our list of our maps here. And then at the top left, we have a profile button. We can see some settings of the application along with the sign out button. The three dots on the right side of our map give us some options. We can go ahead and hit the reload to open up our map here. Once we're into our map, you can kind of zoom around using the pinch and zoom. You can see some data, you can see some imagery. That blue dot there in the middle, that is our current location. So you can move around, but you can always snap back to your current location of the blue dot. At the left side, you have our assignments pane. We have a couple options. We can see assignments that we have to do along with some completed assignments there. We can sort our assignments list at the bottom there based off of a few things, priority, distance, due date, things like that. And then at the bottom right of this assignments pane, we have our current status. As a mobile worker, you can change your status. You can change it when you're not working. You can put that you're on break at times, or you can show that you're working to your dispatchers. At the top right, we have the sync button. This button is the two arrows. Anytime that you make changes, you can come in and hit sync now, but you can see that there is the auto sync feature. So as we change our status here, the dispatcher won't immediately see that until the auto sync happens, or we can go in and manually hit sync now, and those changes will be reflected immediately to our dispatcher or anyone looking at the map. At the top right here, we have the three dots again. Uh, we have layers and legend. So for this layers, we can go in and manually turn on and off any layers in our map. So if our map is getting crowded, if we don't want to see certain data on a certain day, we can go ahead and turn it off and kind of clean up our map a little bit. We also have the legend. So this is useful when we have a lot of features in our map, we can go ahead and see what each feature is symbolized as. As you can see, we have a lot of features currently in our map. Now back to our assignments pane at the left here. So we can select one of these assignments. You can see we selected repair water main. And now that we've done this, it opens it up, it zooms to it. We have some different options. We can see the location, we can see who it was assigned by. And using the directions button, we can actually show the quickest route to navigate directly to this assignment if we aren't familiar with the area or we just want to get some directions to it. At the top there we have our start button so once you get to an assignment as a mobile worker you can go ahead and start working. Once you start working uh, it'll give you a timer and then you can go ahead and start your work. So an option that we have here in the application itself is to take a photo while you get there. Maybe if you want to show what you're seeing out in the field and then you can type in some notes here as well. Hitting the three dots next to the, the button up top, we have some different options. We Instead of just starting and finishing a task, we can also pause a task if we need to run and get some tools or we can just reset it entirely and leave it for a different day or for the next person. And then you have the option to finish a task once it's done. You can see once you finish a task, it's going to disappear from your to-do list and you'll be able to find it in your completed assignments list. And you can open it back up and you can see that it saved all the information that we put in there. We have our note, we have our photo, and this is stuff that the dispatcher can see from the uh, from the desktop. We're going to move back to our to-do list on our assignments. Now that we've completed one, we're going to go ahead and hit the two arrows at the top right, and we'll go ahead and sync our data now so that it is reflected in the dispatcher's map automatically. In Workforce, you also have the option to select any data or points or anything that you have in your map. As you can see, we selected one of our manhole points there. You can see all your attribute information of your features. 
along with being able to navigate to those as well using Navigator.